cut my head off, wouldn't I? How y'all doing today? I guess y'all see what we eating today, huh? I guess I could pull it back so y'all can see it, huh? Whew, I am so happy to be a part of this uh, YouTube community. I tell you, Coco, whew, you are, you're good. <laughs> I listen to you a lot. We had a great day as well. So thank you for the encouraging words, uh, yeah, and everybody else that was in that chat room, thank you all. We had a great, we had a great time. Let's say prayers. <sighs> okay, Father God, we come humbly before your throne just to say thank you for being God, for blessing us, keeping us, saving us. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all, let's toast. You already know. Cocktails and gumbo. What we're going to toast about today my YouTubers. Um, let's just toast for a good, inspiring weekend. So here we go. Salute, salute. Sip, sip, sip that good hood stuff. Oh, that was a good sip. I am really learning to love grapefruit juice, y'all. All right. What we have is my one of my favorites is tuna or the spicy uh, Italian. I wish I could have got, you know, two, but I was craving for the spicy Italian. We have some uh, barbecue lays. No one can eat just one, one, one. Huh. I'm gonna give y'all the first bite. I'm remembering. Here, take a bite. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yum, yum. Give me some. All right, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm, I had some other napkins there on the floor. Mm. That is so good. Put that southwestern uh, mayonnaise spread, whatever they have, on top of Pepper, pepper Jack cheese and spice or tea. This sandwich can't even be enough. Mmm. I forgot one thing. I forgot my spinach. But all my banana peppers, my, my red onion, my pickles, my lettuce, my, lettuce, my tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. It's good. So how y'all doing? What's the plans for the weekend? I have um uh, I have uh two challenges to do and um uh wait a minute y'all Oh, that was falling, wasn't it? Oh, I'm glad I caught it. I have two challenges to do. Getting dressed in the dark, I think. One of them is called them. It's called Getting Dressed in the Dark, I think. That um Food for the Soul started out. And then I'm gonna do a challenge from Tay and Lou. The hot sauce challenge. I went and bought all my hot sauces. So I will be doing that. I'm going to try to do both of them this weekend. Both of the uh, challenges this weekend. So look out for those videos. I love challenges. You know, everybody doing that um, two times or uh, ten times spicy, whatever that is. Them colossal shrimps in ten minutes. I would not do that. <laughs> I won't. Now, I might do the chicken one that uh, Food for the Soul did with her daughter, 15 things, 15 something, and it's not about chicken, and chicken ain't one of them. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Mm. 
Mm, I think it's 15 things you don't like and chicken is not one of them. I think it goes something like that. Check her out. Food for the soul. And that far is, is a four. Also check out Coco Tell Em. <laughs> Girl. Straight up. Straight up, honey. She has some great words. She has, She's funny. So, K-O-K-O-T-E-L-L-U-M. I think that's how she spelled it. Go check her page out. Natural Way of Shanti. Go check her out as well. I had some shout outs today, but I, I left my pad over there. So, I'll do my shout out when I do the uh, getting dressed in the dark uh, video. Because I have a lot of shout outs, y'all. I'm telling you. God is putting so many uh, people in my life on this YouTube channel. Uh, and I love it. Uh, another one I want to shout out. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, Agnes. Uh, that's a... Uh, mm. Y'all know I, I do not remember everybody's name. I watch her live all the time. What is her name? Lauren. Um, so I'm tip my tongue, y'all. I can't say it. Lauren. I don't remember right off my hand, y'all. I slept last night. <laughs> mm. When... When you are new, um, you know, when you have a new channel, you struggle in the beginning, you know, your videos are not ever perfect. And over time, you really do meet people. So I'm going to tell you, all the new people who are getting your page in order, honey, in the beginning, you, you're going to feel some kind of way. Don't give up. Because what I'm seeing now, this is like, I've been on YouTube, my YouTube channel. Um, this is a, it's a little, it's, it's two months, I think. Two months now. Mm -hmm. Still struggling, but I'm not going to give up because it's growing. But let me just say this, and this is for everybody. I look at people videos. That's, that's what we're supposed to do. I, I try to look at all everybody's stuff. I do. So I'm going to tell you, not don't just subscribe. I mean, I love my new subscribers, but look at some of the videos. Look, 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 look at the videos. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I look at them all. And I also try to comment. I'm thumbsing up everybody as well. I know all that is relevant to the monetization stage, you know? So like Coco Tell them said, don't rush. It'll come. Mm -hmm. Uh... I went, when I went to Subway, it's always nothing but men. It was only two girls. Me and another girl walked in behind me, like five men later. But it was like 10 men in front of me. It's like all men. People are not friendly anymore. People, don't, they can look you straight in your eye and not say a word. And I'm, I'm, I'm the opposite. You know, if you look at me, I'm going to say, hi, how are you? Or how you doing today? Or something. I'm going to always say something. But people don't do it anymore. What's the problem? I 
I believe mm, this is a good sandwich. Is it that people think because you're speaking and because you're smiling that you're flirting? You know, back in the day, 20 years ago, it wasn't nothing for us to speak to each other and, you know, just carry on a conversation. But I, I believe today that people, you know, you, you, you smile. Hey, how are you? How are you doing today? I'm not even with the flirt, you know, because I'm a, I'm a big flirter. But I don't flirt with everybody. Everybody's not my cup of tea, you know? But I believe in speaking is common courtesy. I believe in smiling. That's free. A smile can change a whole lot of people's perspective and their thought processes of, in a day. I just believe that when you smile at people and you speak, they think you're flirting. Boy, bye. I'm just trying to be nice. Now, for the one I think is good, eye candy. <laughs> the one I think that may be some good eye candy to me. Mm -hmm. I'll give him a flirtatious hello. And this is how they hood girl do. Let me get in character. Hi, how are you? Mm, you sure wear that shirt well? Have a good day. And hopefully you, you, you know, they, well, a lot of times they do say something back. And it gives you an opportunity to see that, that ring finger. Mm-hmm. But hell, I've noticed some people with the ring finger and a ring on it still try to flirt back. It's like, boy, bye. Mm. Mm. But anyway, back to the story. All of those men, only one, two, three spoke. And it goes back to what I said the other day when I talked about the guy that I saw his post on Facebook that said, men, hold on, they're going to recognize us. Do you recognize us? And again, you know, I'm a little thicker than I was. Maybe they don't like that. Maybe they don't like my skin color. Maybe I'm too dark. Maybe I'm too light. Maybe they intimidated because my personality do grab you. It does. I know me, y'all. I don't brag nor do I, I boast because it took me years to understand what this hood girl was about. So, yeah, I can say I have a beautiful, huge personality. A lot of people don't like that light shining. Mm -mm. They try to dim it. Can't dim mine. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm-mm. And I think sometimes men, they can look at you they see that strength in you and it's intimidating to some men because over time it's so many of us strong women independent women and we govern our households with the children by ourselves we created a company all by ourselves and it's ours it's our brand it's us i think men for us says she already strong she ain't gonna let me be the man i think that's i think that's a problem as well Well, men have already been weaker than the woman. Not a weak man. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying weaker than the woman. We were always to help me. You know, when God put Adam back to sleep and said, a man can't do what? 
Mm-hmm. See where I'm going? He said a man cannot do what alone? So he did put him asleep and took his rib and made a what? A help me. <laughs> or a help mate. However you want to put it. We it was us. <laughs> Women. So yeah. But we have become strong because of what we, we've gone through with the man. <laughs> you know, when you you know, for, for every action, there's always a reaction. When you have three children in the house and your husband leaves you for another woman or he leaves you for another man or he just leaves to find himself. It leaves you to do what? You can't fall by the wayside. You have to pull up your pants, stick out your chest, keep your head up. You got to get your house in order. You got to keep it in order. When he gone. So that's where we are today because some of us have gone through that kind of stuff. So we had to be strong for our children. We had to be strong for our household. We had to be strong for our own self-being. And so I think that's intimidating today to a man. They want to be the king of the castle, the head of the household, and surely they... They should be. I don't mind stepping down because, you know, all these years, well, I'm, I'm going to say the last three years because that's I've been single now for three going on four years. I had to take the reins again. <laughs> yeah. You know, because I, I, I mean, yeah. But I know how to stand down. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you prove yourself, that you a man. And that you can handle the stresses. Mm -hmm. You can handle this hood girl. You are responsible. You're mature. You know how. You will do. You got to prove yourself before I give you everything. Because if your life a funky mess, my life is going to be a funky mess. And you ain't worthy for that. To get me out of line. So prove yourself. And I will give you the reins. Holler if you hear me. Holler if you hear me. Hmm. Because any of us can have a man. That ain't the problem getting a man. It's getting one that can handle the house. <laughs> ah! Woo! I said that, didn't I? Hmm. Did I not say four, five, six videos ago? Sometime... You know, we get caught up with that sex because it's so damn good. But learn how to pleasure yourself. Keep a sane mind. It's temporary, true enough. <laughs> to pleasure yourself is temporary, true enough. But it can hold you for a moment. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Uh, what they say? I ain't new to it, I'm true to it. <laughs> Not telling all my secrets. But it's a true thing today. It's better than sleeping with a thousand men thinking they're going to be your boo thing, your boyfriend, your husband. You know, and if you're not practicing safe sex, you got how many things inside of you? So, you know, AIDS is, is alive and well. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, not for me. I love me some Juanita Hood. God gave me a plan and a purpose, and I live it daily, every day. So I'm just not going to settle for just any man. Any man ain't worthy of me. I told y'all, when I learned me, I learned that I love really hard and really deep, you know? And every man cannot handle that kind of love, and they won't handle it. They, some of them get scared. Some of them not used to it. Some of them would try it, but they may fail. So, for me, I, I wake up every day expecting. I really do. When I got to when I got to subway, I said maybe my husband is in here, quote unquote. 
Maybe. Because I did that OMG thing on uh on uh Facebook today and it said, Why are you single? Well it came back and said, The man who loves you is right there. He's just waiting on you to tell him. I'm thinking like, oh, is he shy? Because I sure don't see him. <laughs> Where he at? Mm. Mm hmm Anyway, y'all, coming up on time. I gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go, 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 go. Thank you, Coco. Tell him. For the word today, thank y'all for the other people in the chat room. I love y'all and there's nothing you can do about it. Thank you for all my new subscribers. I did write you down. I will shout you out on the next video. I love you guys and nothing you can do about it. Holla!